Hello everyone, my name is Farhana Jahan. I'm a student consultant of Hassel Free Education. Today I'm going to take interview of uh, one of our international students named Sumaya Akhtar. So hi Sumaya, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I'm also fine. Okay. So first of all, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, uh, hi, I'm Sumaya Akhtar. I'm an international student from Bangladesh and I'm doing my master's on food and uh, I've completed my BSc and MS in food and nutrition. And now I am doing my master's uh, of public health uh, in UK. So, okay. yeah. so we want to know about your school and college life, please. Uh, I completed both of my school and college from Sher Bangla Government Girls School and College. Uh, it's in Dhaka. Bangladesh? Yes, Bangladesh. Okay. So can, if you don't mind, can you please share your result of SSC and HSC? Uh, yes, uh, my SSC result uh, was 4.94 out of 5. And the HSC result uh, was 4.70 out of 5. Mm -hmm. And my BSc result was 3.5, uh, sorry, it was the first class. Uh, and my MSc result was 3.53 out of 4. Wow, very good at school. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, your previous studies was in Bengali medium, am I not right? uh, Yes, it's in Bengali medium. Okay, so can you please tell us about your IELTS preparation? Uh, okay, uh, my IELTS preparation was uh, quite different from others, I think so, uh, as um, I took the IELTS exam for two times, and the first one is uh, in 19, uh, 2019, mm -hmm. and I got IELTS uh, overall band 7 in that exam. At that time, I prepared myself for uh, more than, not more than two months, actually I just uh, got the ideas and information that how the tests uh, are taken and what the tricks um, of the IELTS exam. After I um, get uh, the second time exam, uh, it was in 2020, uh, in October. Uh, at that time, I also get seven, uh, overall band seven actually. And that time I already uh, only got uh, one week uh, for the preparation. But actually, I think uh, my previous experiences uh, give me some chances to get the, get a good. Okay, uh, so result. you did a second time on October two thousand twenty one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, can you please uh, tell us like uh, why did you choose UK as your study destination? Uh, okay. First of all, I want to say that uh, the certificates of uh, UK is very well known and uh, it's a very. Uh, you know it's very remarkable for any countries and that's why it's the first reason for mine and also mm -hmm. I wanted to come with my dependent my husband so uh, UK uh, got uh, lots of visas uh, with the dependents and the UK visas procedure is a lot more uh, easier than the USA or Canada yeah, or right. any other countries that is why I choose UK the first okay and how did you find hassle for education okay it was an industry interesting story uh, actually uh, when I decided uh, to apply for the UK, I got lots of, um, you know, consultancy firm uh, yeah. in Facebook uh, whenever I scroll down. Uh, that time I saw that Hasselfree's uh, profile is very good and lots of good reviews and the Facebook profile is uh, really organized. That's why I knocked them uh, with a curiosity that um, how was that and how it will be. So after that, uh, from till that day, uh, for now, they are um, already always helping me with uh, lots of difficulties. Okay, so you find on Hassel Free Education to Facebook, right? Ah, uh, yes. And then you texted um, Hassel Free Education, and one of yeah. our uh, team member contacted with you. Yeah, they contacted with me and uh, asked my profile. Mm -hmm. After I sent them all of my educational backgrounds, results, and certificates, yeah. uh, then they applied for me. Okay, and you did visited our Bangladesh office. Uh, yeah, I visited. Okay, so can you just tell us that how Hassel Free Education helped you to come in the UK? Uh, first of all, I have to say uh, about the informations. Informations was uh, very uh, important, you know, if you want to go to a country. So uh, I have to say I disturbed them very much with lots of calls and messages and they never <laughs> uh, like uh, frustrated. They always uh, talked with me and uh, whenever I have many lots of questions, uh, they uh, give me the answers and um, with the uh, pr first procedures uh, I um, I was assured by their answers then I talked with them and um, told them to apply after that uh, from uh, that that day uh, till now they applied for me and uh, talked to me whenever I have any questions and also whenever university gave me any email and I didn't understand I talked with them and they also um, um, 
give me the elaborated uh, version of that okay so as you said that you like knocked several times yeah so how many uh, how much they charge for you actually it was a uh, free of charge they uh, didn't uh, charge for anything mm -hmm. uh, they i uh, just uh, i paid for the visa fee which i gave to the uk vi and the university's fee and okay. uh, only the health insurance for uh, what is uh, for every nationalities okay but you didn't pay to hassle for education no i didn't pay a penny to the hassle for <laughs> education thank you so much yeah you're welcome so um, as far i remember uh, we applied for you birmingham city university and yes. nottingham grant university ah, and yes. you got both of the offer letter ah, yes. then why you choose birmingham city university actually uh, uh, i love the city birmingham as it's a mega city and it's the second biggest city of uk so uh, that is why i chose uh, birmingham and also uh, in birmingham there's a lots of uh, opportunity for uh, work or education uh, so and also birmingham city university's ranked is uh, higher than the nottingham uh, mm -hmm. trent university so i think it was uh, also an important reason, reason. Yes. okay and like i think like birmingham city university's tuition fee is a bit less than nottingham trent university as well uh, yes right? i think uh, I think uh, it's a bit less. It does. Okay. And uh, according to your subject and uh, your university, what is your future plan? Uh, actually, I uh, wanted to uh, be a public health specialist uh, from my uh, part, uh, starting of my uh, studies. Mm -hmm. Study. Yeah, and that is why I always aspire to become um, a public health specialist from my uh, starting and. I uh, wanted to have a degree uh, in a uh, UK you know uh, in the UK is a uh, very uh, precious in my um, country Bangladesh if I have a degree from here uh, but uh, my uh, dream was to be settled in UK and I want to have a uh, tire to uh, visa whenever I will finish my study as uh, as a student we will got 2 years of post study work permit so I want to utilize that 2 uh, year and i want to uh, get a good uh, job uh, for that time and that is why i want to study hard for this year yeah so as far as i remember we applied from last year uh, june uh, for the september intake right uh, yes i yeah. got offer letter um, at june 2020 for the mm -hmm. september intake 21 for the uh, september yeah, 21 yeah, september yeah. 2021 and uh, like some uh, because of some reason you had to defer it for january 2022 uh, yeah the cash uh, uh, was for the cash letter yeah yeah it was a bit late yeah. and that is why i don't, <laughs> didn't want to like uh, have to go anything joining. yeah i didn't want to join late and also yeah. the covid situation was not very good yeah. that is why i deferred it and also i I reached in uh, the UK uh, in this January and I started my class already. And also I remember like you had some issues with your bank statement, right? Uh, yes, it uh, has like uh, UK only support uh, some of the bank statements uh, mm -hmm. and I didn't have that list. But after that I uh, talked with Hassel for Education and they sent me the list and I uh, uh, opened a bank account at those um, among those banks and then I uh, prepared my bank statement. Yeah, there, there, there was some confusion. Like you know, UKBI changed their rules that yeah. they will accept if any of the bank, which is online banking. Yes. But Birmingham City University and some other universities also, they are not uh, like they didn't updated their system. Yeah. So that's why the uh, like this miscommunication happened, and yeah. uh, you had to defer. So I will say that it's uh, it like it was very good for you because you already saved three four thousand of hotel quarantine and things, <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Yeah. i think uh, it was a good thing but first time i was frustrated yeah but after that when i uh, got the situation mm -hmm. and i think uh, it it uh, it paid off okay. that i got some time and i like um, yeah it's like definitely it was a bit late from september to yeah. january but you already saved some money and like yeah. lots of things you sold uh, yes right? of course that's right Okay, so thank you so much for sharing all of the information with yeah, us. Yeah, no so, problem at all. Right now, I want to ask you that how long you are in the UK? Uh, I am here only about one month, mm -hmm. and uh, I am here with my husband as a dependent. He is working. Yeah, uh, he got his uh, job in a few uh, days actually, but I am not working right now. I just uh, wanted to. Um, um, uh, be, yeah, I wanted to study hard and want to like uh, attentive uh, in my class and to the professors. 
ओके बेस्ट विशेस फॉर योर प्लान एंड एवरीथिंग सो आई कैन सी लॉस ऑफ पीपल आर वॉचिंग आवर लाइव वीडियो सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज शेयर आवर लाइव वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एंड रिलेटिव सो दैट दे कैन गेट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन सो लास्ट क्वेश्चन सुमैया what's your advice to the students who want to come in uk for higher studies okay uh, first of all i want to say that uh, research yourself first of all that uh, what is your dream in what university or what subject you want to be or after that uh, some informations are very important to come in any country so gather those and also you can help um, get some help from the consultancy in um, different there are lots of different consultancy and uh, like has free education they uh, work for you free of cost so uh, you can contact with them and uh, gather some information from them and uh, it's very important that uh, have a good as result so uh, be prepared for that yeah so i just want to add something like uh, definitely university working partner like us uh, the consultant you can say there are lots of consultants consultants but still the student needs to do their own research as well yes okay and uh, like uh, there are lots of alternative tests are available like uh, duolingo oxford international test and pte instead of ielts ah, okay. yeah so thanks for joining with us yeah. and give your time to us and no thank you so much uh, for watching our live video and if you want to ask any question or if you want to contact with hassle free education we will give our uh, phone number in the comment and the post as well also i am giving our number to contact uh, you can contact directly or the whatsapp as well 0743 20 8954 I'm repeating the number again 0743 20 89544 Thank you everyone see you bye